To make focaccia is probably the easiest bread that you will be able to make. So this is the same dough that we've been working throughout. I have made it slightly wetter, so I've probably added another 20 grams of water, but you don't need to. If you make it slightly wetter like I have, you will get a little bit more of an airy focaccia. Um, the wetter the bread, the more it, it tends to rise and as a softer focaccia. So all you need to do, it's had this dough has had its mixing, it stretches and folds and it's first prove and it's now ready at the stage where you would shape it. So I've been generous with the olive oil here in the bottom of this tray, spread it out with my hands using my oiled hand I just take that dough out of the bowl and pop it onto that tray. Okay, more oil on top. So there's no actual oil in this dough. It is exactly the same recipe that we've used throughout. You're just going to add plenty of oil underneath and on top and that's going to be absorbed during the baking. And then all I do, this is a very rustic bread, so all I do is use my fingers to go right to the bottom of the tray making holes. I'm not squashing all of the air out of it. Can you see that it's still got plenty of air? It's by no means deflated. It's just got these holes now. And then with the olive oil still left on my hands, I'm just gonna rub it over that rosemary. That just helps the rosemary to stop burning. Now this is a very classic topping, rosemary and salt. Um, but you could use all sorts of toppings on your focaccia. So olives, um, half cut cherry tomatoes, um, pear with blue cheese is delicious at Christmas. I do blackberries with demerara sugar, which sounds like a sweet dough, but actually is, is really lovely with anything savoury. You could put, you treat it like a pizza and put on uh, mozzarella, um, and any toppings that you like there. So really this is, you know, one for experimentation. Find out what you like best on your focaccia and play around with it a bit. The one thing I would avoid is anything already baked, or sorry, already cooked. So something like sun-dried tomatoes or roasted peppers, they tend to burn when you put them on top of the focaccia. Okay, so now what I do is I get about half a teaspoon of salt, put that in the palm of my hand so that I can distribute it evenly over. And you can be as generous or as shy with the salt as you like. It just provides a lovely, delicious, savoury crunch to that dough. That is now ready to go straight into the oven. So you can preheat your oven 15, 20, 30 minutes earlier, depending on your oven, so that it's now ready to go straight in. Um, and that's as simple as focaccia is. It'll take 20 to 25 minutes to bake at 220 degrees. You don't need to steam the oven as you do with other breads because there's plenty of olive oil on there, so it will rise anyway. If you're not ready to put it in the oven at this stage, you could get it to this stage and leave it for 15 to 20 minutes to prove, or you can cover it with oiled cling film and pop it in the fridge and it'll happily sit there for several hours or overnight so that you can bake it when you're ready. Um, and focaccia is beautiful with some soup or with a barbecue when you've got friends over for a meal. It just looks really appealing but it's really easy to make, so it's a good one to try. And that's just using our master recipe. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven now, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's baked. Here's the focaccia. It was baked for 25 minutes at 220 degrees centigrade. Um, it's been on a cooling rack, and it's now just warm to the touch, so it's cooled quite well. And I just want to show you the texture. OK, 
Okay, so can you see it's got a lovely uneven crumb, beautiful air holes in there and that'll be delicious and light and it'll taste of olive oil and rosemary. So, oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous actually. So, um, you know, it's a, a bread that's really easy to make, but just delicious. So give that one a go.